Okay, just pulled this out of the wrapper. Absolutely brand new. Kyleworth, made in Germany. SX90R. So the R is for rolled tone holes, which is very rare these days. Uh, these days, uh, on the sax in the saxophone world, you look at all the flutes; they all have their own rolled tone holes. So if you can imagine the pad coming down a surface like this, nice sharp cookie cutter, it's going to cut through the pads over a while, or hitting the pads like this with a nice smooth surface, and you have more surface area and a lot smoother fit for the pad. So the pads just last forever. Um, I've got these pads where just big circles ripped out of them from the tone holes and people grabbing too hard. So anyhow, rolled tone holes on it. Uh, again, a very rare feature. Con did it back in those days and they stopped doing it. And um, these, again, power through one of the few companies that offer it both ways, with and without the rolled tone hole. And you can hear it. So beautiful black finish. It's not black lacquered. It's actually black nickel plated. So it's an electric plated finish. So it doesn't scratch and and uh, come off like the uh, lacquered finish just does. Um, oversized bell on it. It's got a huge bell, sort of like the Cannonballs and the P Mary and all these guys are doing it now. Probably about a half inch bigger than a standard bell. Um, standard operation over here with all the little rockers and such. Um, one of the cool features. Um, let's see if we can get a picture of it here is the G-sharp mechanism. So there's a little teeter-totter situation here. So when you press down the G-sharp, this little half of the teeter-totter goes up, hits down below, and actually pulls up the G-sharp key. So that notorious uh, G-sharp sticking is just not going to happen. Uh, I'm just trying to get a good view of it here. I guess that's about it. Right in here. There you can see the bar going across. So the key pushes the bar up, hits here, and drags the G-sharp with it. Pretty cool. Just to add a little bar like that and you're ready to go. Also, a pretty rare feature, it has what's called the what I call the F-sharp helper key here. So when you hit the G-sharp, there's so much tension pulling up, it'll actually pull up the, the G-sharp will pull up the F-sharp key here, right above it. So this will tend to leak. So then they added a secondary adjustment between the F key and the F sharp key. So you have an adjustment screw here to keep that uh, G sharp from popping up on, uh, popping the uh, F sharp up. I hope that's not too complicated, but some really cool little features that rarely anybody does. Um, Yannick Osawa does it on a couple of their saxophones and I've done the mod before for people. So again, you've got a bar going from the F key to the F sharp key. So when you hit the G sharp key, it's pop popping up the um, up the um, F sharp key and that holds it all down. Another quite unique feature, palm keys, everybody's putting stacking, you know, uh, spacers and cork and rubber things and the Oleg snap on $40 a piece, little gold things. So these are actually adjustable. So you've got a lock nut here and you spin it out, spin it into wherever you want. I've got it pretty much set where it just fits right into my palm. So if you had smaller hands, you could roll them in. If you have bigger hands, you can roll them out. Kind of a really cool feature. And uh, you can see there's a lock collar here. And you just loosen it, spin it out to where you want it, spin it out probably maybe a quarter inch uh, either direction. Pretty cool feature. Again, I call this the, I call the Yamahas and the Anagasawas the Lexus of the world. I call this the BMW of the saxophone world. Um, it's just this German technology and engineering is just marvelous. I mean, it's just a stunning, stunning horn. Um, I got this from a store, one of the many stores going out of business, and uh, like a liquidation sale, so it is brand new. Uh, as far as I know, the only one played it. Still got all the plastic wrappers and everything. Beautiful backpack case. Um, the factory original case. Very nice. Again, in brand new condition with a cover over that. And of course, plays. And just the low B flat. I have the tenor version also. <coughs> Excuse me. And the, the low B flat just, just knocks things off the wall. And you can just whisper subtone. Just 
a perfect seal. Again, with those roll tone holes, you have a lot of sealing surface for the pad to seal to. So it just really seems to grab. <laughs> And the top end. Just screams out of it. It's a little bigger bore, if I'm not mistaken, than most saxophones. So you can get a lot of air through it, and it just takes anything you can put at it. Um, another cool feature is the pearls have really deep and, and thick. They're probably twice as thick as a normal pool, uh, pearl and very, very deep. So you can just grab right onto them. Your fingers you just go right into the pearls and just a very, very comfortable feel. Um, of course, I have sharp key and all that regular jazz. But I mean, just in beautiful pool of the shape. I think retail is like over nine grand. On it. This is selling for a fraction of that. Lower than any, probably half of any internet price out there on these. But uh, again, Probably the strongest subtone B flat I've I've heard. And again, monster bell, monster bore, beautiful finish. Uh, an upcharge uh, for the black nickel, upcharge for the uh, rolled tone holes on it. <laughs> And just, just beautiful, beautiful mechanism on it. And strongest key work. I mean, if you bend something on this, you really got to whack it. So very, very heavy metal. Better than any of the Japanese metal out there. Or, of course, the Taiwanese or the Chinese, you know, beer can stuff. So we're going to do a little ditty here and um, play along with it. and Hopefully not flub it up too much.
It just plays phenomenal. It's, it's hard to stop. But um, man, oh man, we get a brand, brand new instrument for probably the price of a mostly used ones out there. Again, just an absolutely crazy retail on them. And um, you can get a brand new one in the case for the price of a used one. Um, any more questions, you can contact me at www.stevegraysaxes.com. That's S-T-E-V-E-G-R-A-Y-S-A-X-E-S plural on the sexes. So anyhow, there you go. <laughs> Boy, it just comes out. I could probably, I'm not even going to try to get the G, but I'm sure it'll come out. <laughs> Again, it's on my webpage if you want to check the price there. And uh, any questions? The serial number is like 122 and change. Um, I could date it, but it's, it's a relatively new model, probably in the 2000s. But unplayed, except for me. And uh, just absolutely gorgeous finish, gorgeous playing, gorgeous sound. What could you ask for? Half the price of a Selmer. <laughs> Keep it short. Getting carried away here. Adios. <laughs>